got to leave the cage Every day is a different stage of what society keeps telling you to waste it deplete it get rid of it. It, it it releases stress it's a natural thing it's no big deal don't take it seriously uh, blah 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 it's no big deal this is a lie sperm is the most important life force for you as a male this is literally your gas your drive your willingness to change your life. This is where it comes from. So the very idea of society constantly telling you to release, to me, it's like, why? I know why. It's because we want males to be weak, under the pussy spell constantly, and never doing something to really make a difference in their lives and make a difference in the lives of others. That's outside of the realms of your society, outside of what is normal to really look within and look outside of the box because that's what this energy would give you that's the force it'll give you to do it's a discipline it's not like one of these things where you know you say it's it's a it's something that I have to beat myself up if I don't accomplish it it's a discipline it's, it's a lifestyle discipline so it does take time to start adjusting to it especially if you're many if you're one of the many guys who have constantly been releasing because society makes it seem like it's a normal thing for us to do when really it's not. This is our life force. This is our livelihood. And we're supposed to think it's nothing. This little fluid here can create a whole organism. And you want me to think that this this is this is nothing? Oh, it's just guys again talking about how, how good they are. This is what they, they, they seem to always promote at us as, as if nothing about us is good at all. Oh my gosh. Guy? A guy that's good? No, oh, no, no way. And we keep laughing as if it's it's this uh it's just a, she's just joking this society just it's not just joking, we don't joke around. When you joke and you keep joking about these matters, it get more serious where it becomes normal. It's a normal thing to do now. It's a, it's normal for you to be that way. It's normal for guys to believe that releasing the most powerful drive within them it's it's normal. They can just do that because then it makes it's no makes no big deal about your health anyhow. It makes the biggest deal about your health. Not only do you deplete all of these minerals that's within you, and you can use minerals, believe it or not, because your body needs minerals. A lot of the sicknesses that people get get is because hey, from a lack of minerals. We eat we eat food that are empty empty calorie food these these foods have no sense of vitality in them they are dead so what your body do does is it tries to get any mineral that it can from your bone marrow wherever that it can find the mineral it'll it'll get it and when you eat something that it, it can actually extract minerals from the first place or one of the first places that it's it actually compresses it is developing that fluid there 
that sperm fluid. This is where the most important minerals are found. Because that's where, why do you think you can have healthy children? Because your body knows that preserving those minerals there is really what's going to create the healthiest type of children. So the most natural, the most, the most healthiest minerals that it could find, it compresses it there. And then you just walk around, oh, I said it's nothing, let me just release it. And then society, you see these women walk around half naked and that gives you another temptation because there's temptation everywhere. This is what I talk about, breaking the pussy spell because it's everywhere. Yes, these women are, they're, they're not naked in a sense, they're not dressed, but they are naked, come on. So they're naked while not naked. That's kind of like how it looks from, from my standpoint. But when they talk about releasing this creative potential all the time, this is not good. This is not something that you need to get used to and do all the time. Like how they keep telling you, this is this is your drive. And I was reading some article online how women were saying that, guys, we hate to tell you this, but you know, it'll actually benefit you. Why do you hate to tell us that? Why? We hate to tell you this, guys, about your sperm, but it'll actually benefit you if you... Why do they hate to tell you that? Because they see that gives you power. That gives you a power. You start to realize, wait, I am powerful. I do have power. Because they keep society just keeps wanting to make you feel weak about every single thing. So when we hate to tell you that, why? Because it makes you feel powerful. You, it makes you feel powerful when you get on this no fat thing. It makes you feel powerful when you get on this wise man thing. It makes you feel powerful when you wise men go in their own way. It makes you feel powerful. It makes you feel like you are worthy of something. That you belong somewhere. That you are heard as a male, which society completely devoids from you. But uh, we hate to tell you that. And then I was reading the article and you, you, you're, you're, you're thinking, well, maybe they realize that, hey, maybe this sperm thing is actually, they, they see, oh, it's beneficial for the male. And now I'm reading it. No, they were only saying that because it gives the, it benefits them. In other words, it gave the male a better erection. He was able to last longer with her in bed, satisfy your woman more, satisfy her more. And women, it'll satisfy you more. If you're it's not about you again. It's not about them saying that because it'll actually help you. No, it'll make them happier. Because again, like, like whenever we keep releasing, we think it's, it's a natural thing. Just, just, just release. No, they're, they're talking about this in a way it benefits them. Males walk around willingly, willing to release their most precious asset. The fluid is your most precious asset. It, it's the, your most life-sustaining energy. It's what sustains you. And the more that you release it, the more you feel depressed, out of, you know, out of connection with yourself. You, you feel disconnected. You feel, like I said, depression. You feel a lack of drive in your life. And you think it's just, uh, you willingly, any woman who asks for, oh, I'll give it to her. I I'm willingly just doing it. What, what's going on? As if males collectively believe it's, 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 it's we can know. And this is what's happening. Men worldwide are waking up to this and saying, no. I'm not willingly giving you my most precious asset. This is what sustains me. I'm supposed to be, and then she walks, well, you're gonna give it to me anyhow, cause look at me, don't I look all good? Look at me, I'm so, I'm so attractive, I know you want. You say no, the pussy spell is, I'm not under that. Uh, no, I'm wise and conscious. If you are wise and conscious, we can meet somewhere. I'm not saying that we can't, you can't express your sexual self with someone. But you have to do so wise and consciously. Not walking around just willingly depleting and giving away your most precious asset as a male. This is what makes you alive. This is what gives you the drive, your creative drive, your willingness to see past the, to the future, your intuitive eye. It, 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 it gives you the drive to, to see things, to organize your life, to put yourself together because that drive is, is what they consider that serpent energy rises from the lower realms to the higher realms if you can dis discipline yourself you can be like a very conscious being by doing this because it brings discipline into your beingness that's what it does and it makes you want to get your life organized and structured it makes you want to actually help yourself and get outside of your depressive state because the more that you keep releasing the more that you sit there you watch these flicks and you keep releasing the more depressed you feel and then society said, no, it's normal, just keep doing it. And the more depressed you feel, that's what happens. So what you're doing now is you're realizing, no, semen is my most precious asset. It is my life force itself. This creates a living being. What's more, I mean, this is, you are the one planting the seed. The women extract. 
So even when you sleep around with her and then you have sex or whatever, you're actually giving her energy. So they need you to give her energy. This is why when males willingly give their essence away, I say, why? Don't you know that you actually society makes it seem like you, they're, doing, they're, they're, they're doing you a favor by letting you sleep with them. No, you're doing them a favor. You're giving them energy. Don't you know that? That's what's happening. You're giving them energy. And if males worldwide start to realize, no, this asset within me, this, this, this fluid, this sperm, is actually powerful. And I'm not going to walk around just willingly giving it to you women just because you got ass. So you and every other chick got ass. You and every other chick got ass, damn it. Oh, I look so attractive. Yeah, you and every other one. What's created about you? Nothing. They know nothing's created about them. That's why many of them walk around with their mean face. That way you can think they walk around with their mean face because so, so they're, they're, they're the victim. So that way you can always think, well, something must have happened to her. Some, some, some guy did something to her. No, I'm not feeling that anymore. I have no mercy for these women walking around with their mean faces. So you're supposed to feel sorry for them. I don't feel sorry for you. And they would think they just deserve respect because they got a vagina. No. And this is what I'm saying. You, you, with, your, with your creative potential, with this sperm thing, you start to realize how powerful this is. And how when, whenever you de deplete it, you're at the mercy of women. You think that, oh my gosh, if only she would just take it. If only I can just have sex with her. She actually, she needs this from you. It's not the, society flips it around. It's just like you walking around chasing women. No, they, actually in a way, they're supposed to be chasing you. Looking for you, looking for the best potential males because you're the provider. Except now, society makes it seem like whatever you provide, it don't matter. She's, she's worthy of it anyhow. It doesn't matter what her social class is, social status, she's worthy of your best. So you can be a guy who went to school, you got your life organized, you you know, not only are you book smart, but you're spiritually smart as well. You have really looked in within, you, within yourself, and you're trying to get your business together, whatever. Some woman who hasn't done none of that. She hasn't done none of that. She hasn't done anything with her life at all other than walk around, have sex, because she's free and liberated and with her main face, because you're supposed to give her everything you got, because she have a vagina. She's, society wants you to think she's worthy of all, your all. That woman there, she's worthy of your all. Why? Because she got a vagina. That's all she needs. And you're supposed to be giving her your most precious asset within you just because she has it. This is a lie. You need to understand that sperm is your life force and you should not waste it. Because to waste it is a foolish thing to do because you feel depleted. You wonder why you can't get your life together. Why, do you, why are you always depressed? Why do you never feel connected? Why do you always feel like powerlessness? That's why. Because you're constantly releasing it because society keeps telling you to constantly release it. Don't. This is, this is your energy. This is your life force. This is very important and very powerful for you. For your happiness. For your livelihood. You need to realize that sperm is your life force, man. As a man, this is your life force and you shouldn't willingly walk around or do all these things. Just in society gives you a hundred thousand ways where you can release it. Like I said, if you walk outside in society, yes, they're wearing clothes, but technically they're naked because your eyes see it as naked. So if she wears uh, those tight things that you can see all her, you know, b bodily, how it's all structured, you can see all her thighs and everything. She's technically damn naked, man. And that's, that's why you're constantly in this battle to fight the temptation. And if you do give the end to the temptation, oh, he's such a pervert. Oh my gosh, I can't believe God. Blaming you. And just like I said, that's what they do. Blame, blame, blame. But when you realize how important that you actually are and how important that this energy within you is, you start to realize that you yourself are valuable. And if you want to get back your essence, if you want to get back how valuable you feel about yourself and your life and, and, get you, and feel good about where your life is going, then you need to realize the importance of this energy. Why semen is your life force. This is where your drive comes from. And when you realize that, you, you start to laugh at these things. You go, <laughs> yeah, right. Because you feel good. So when these lower vibrational beings walk next to you, trying to conquer your happiness, it doesn't even affect you. Especially these females who try to conquer your happiness with their, with their mean face because they're deserving of whatever that you got and you did something to them. I ain't do nothing to you, woman. Nothing. And I'm sick of feeling like I've done something to you. I'm sick of feeling like I'm, 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 I must have done something to some female. I have to satisfy your every need. I'm sick of that. And it's not happening no more. I'm wise and conscious. And I'm keeping my power within me. And I'm feeling good. Because I know this is where my life force is. And I know I need this energy to 
control and overcome my obstacles and make the best of my life that I can possibly make. Because that's a wise and conscious way to live, man. You know it is. You know so. And as always, thank you for watching.